Hello, this is Annalisa from Creative Curious Learning and Living. A welcome back. Today I'm going to be sharing a glimpse into a life with four kiddos and our newborn baby and the first two weeks. Times are tough, they're always changing everywhere I go. The world keeps trying to mold my life and everything I know. All that I have done, that I have lived through. I know I'm a sinner here in everything I do. But I'm singing here, take my life now, all of me. All that I am, Lord, all that I can be. Take my life before me, do what you need. Everything is all for you, I'm yours to keep yeah. In my life I see your grace and all that you have done You wrapped me up in your arms and held me I had become Gaze down in my life, I was caught in your stare If there were found peace of mind to let my soul lay bare Now I'm singing here, take my life now All of me all that I am, Lord, all that I can be. Take my life for me, do what you need. Everything is all for you, I'm yours to keep. I just want to thank you, Lord, for making me brand new. Now I'm standing here, all for you. You want me, God? You know me so well. That's for you and Liam. Look, Liam, wait. Look at this. Press this button. What does it have on it, Liam? Hey, did you see this? Wait, what that thing? I did. Press, press the button. Um. It's a sea turtle light up Lego. Ah! Like, make me want to scream for hours. Hey, Molly, what's that my other one? And this is my next one. Hey, no. And this is my next one, Molly. So this was one of the mornings in the first week, I believe. My toddler, my three-year-old there, wakes up around 6, 6.30. Usually her brothers are up around the same time, maybe 7. But this particular morning, only she was up. I was up nursing the baby. He was up for his morning feed. And we just got to watch TV and snuggle as if I had the baby. So lots of snuggles. And then I also brought out my prayer Bible. I, this is a normal Bible that I've set up with different prayers and tabs that I can read the scripture and pray over it and I have sticky notes of prayer requests of friends and things that I want to pray over and I don't always grab this out but I've been trying to grab it out more often it's just a way for me to connect with God through prayer and and just read scriptures um I just really reflect on them and pray and yeah I definitely want to get more into a better system or a better devotional time and be more consistent in it and spending time with the Lord. It's definitely challenging to do it as a busy mom of four now, and but it's something that I really enjoy. If I can't get into the Word of God, I love to just put on worship music and have my headphones on and just like get some stuff done around my house and connect with God in that way. But this was definitely a relaxing morning in the midst of sleepless nights and just adjusting to family of four. It's not as hard adjusting to four from three, but it's definitely got its challenges, and this was definitely a 
relaxing morning with lots of snuggles and as you can see from the previous clip we gave our kids their Easter baskets a little bit early actually we gave it to them before Easter they really enjoyed all of the things in there and I'm so glad that they got them early so that they could get to the stickers and do the activities they're loving the number books um, stamps and my oldest actually shared with my second oldest son the puzzle or the sticker by number so that's really fun that they were doing that together and yeah so glad that they loved everything and now my other kiddos are going to wake up this is my second oldest boy and he's here snuggling on the couch with us and my oldest was in the, his bedroom on his iPad. He likes to just hide in there for a little while in the morning and get some quiet time in. So now we're going to go ahead and grab breakfast for mom and the kids. Uh, tell me what to act upon. Tell me, Lord, I'm living all for you. Now, all of me, all that I am, Lord, all that I can be. Take my life and form it, do what you need. Everything is all for you, I'm yours to keep. I'm singing here, take my life now, all of me, all that I am, Lord, all that I can be. Take my life and form it, do what you need. Everything is all for you, I'm yours to keep yeah. I'm giving up my life, I'm giving up my life, I'm giving up my life, I'm giving up my life. Take my life now, all of me, all that I am, Lord, all that I can be. Take my life and form it to what you need. Everything is all for you, I'm yours to keep. Yeah. Everything is all for you, I'm yours to keep. I'm yours. Everything is all for you, I'm yours to keep. So as you can see, I am grabbing myself a bowl of raisin bran and some extra fiber this just is my go-to with all of the kids it's something i crave um after delivery and it just really helps and yeah so that is what i'm having for breakfast and i'm super excited to go ahead and grab a coffee in a little bit here but the baby is just hanging out in the little chair that we have set up in our kitchen so that we can get some things done we can get breakfast we can get lunch we can get the dishes going if we need to. He seems to settle quite nicely in there as long as he has a blanket. So that is super nice. Usually during lunchtime, I'm either baby wearing him or, yeah, or he's in the chair. So just continuing to get my breakfast, grabbing the milk, taking care of mom. My husband has been off for the last two weeks, the first two weeks of baby, but he has been getting up in the middle of the night sometimes too to help with the baby. So we've been taking turns and sometimes he will let me go take a nap in the afternoon and he goes back to bed in the morning if he's tired. And he's just super tired from just being at home um, and not being at work and all of that. So yeah, but getting that breakfast in and enjoying a minute just with me and baby. The other kiddos are in the living room watching their TV time, just relaxing and waking up. We are definitely not morning people here. And my kids, they just like, they are not morning people. I'm not a morning person. My husband is though. He can get up and get things done in the morning, whereas we're, we take a little bit longer to adjust to our morning and to our day. So we like to take things slow. So then I'm going to prepare myself a coffee, and this was super exciting. I haven't been able to drink coffee for the last few weeks leading up to baby. It just wasn't making me feel great, and I just did not want it, and I really like coffee. So that was weird for me. So having coffee, once he's here, 
has been super, super nice. The baby was born on March 28th. He was a week overdue, and we have never gone overdue with any of our babies, so I had to be induced, but it was just a new experience for me, and well, we are glad he's here, he's happy, he's healthy, and we are adjusting to be a family of six, and we're loving it. And here's my toddler coming in, enjoying the baby. She loves him so much. She's adjusting. It's definitely hard for her um, adjusting to it, but she just loves him so much, and she wants to be around him constantly. Her girly, motherly nature is just coming out and wanting to take care of him and be a part of his everyday life for sure. So the coffee is a coming and So, and now my coffee is brewed, it's ready to go, it's warm and cozy, I've got my house coat on, my coffee and baby snuggles. This coffee tasted so good, and yeah, I just love this clip, I just, I feel like this is our last baby, I know this is our last baby, and so these baby snuggles are just so much more precious to me, and I just want to soak them all in and enjoy them and I love that I'll have this memory to look back on as well and he was awake and alert and just super super cute and we just enjoyed the snuggles and the coffee and my other kiddos were here and there playing with activities watching TV and yeah so now it the Sun is starting to shine and I'm just getting some editing in and some baby snuggles he's still awake and yeah I'm getting some editing in for my other channel, I have a card making, Bible journaling, art channel as well that I started before this channel. And I have some Easter cards that I had worked on and I'm just working out some details to get up for the Easter holiday. And then here's my husband since I said he's been home. He actually did the Easter story and the resurrection eggs that I shared in my Easter resources video, what we're going to be using at Easter. He actually ended up reading the story to the kids and going through the eggs, so it's really great. I could just sit with the baby and just relax and take care of myself and heal. And it was just really fun to see him interact with the kids in this way, and they really enjoyed it, and they enjoyed having him home for a couple days. It's been so, so nice. So this is only a glimpse into the first two weeks. Obviously, the happy moments and the things that I could take video of, and yeah, it's definitely it's definitely not easy all the time when you're tired and all of that, but yeah, here is the baby off with me while he's doing the Easter story. He's all squished up when he's sleeping on me. Super, super cute. But yeah, this is just a glimpse into our first week mom life, all the kiddos, the baby, a glimpse at the baby and just a little bit in our life and I'm sure I will share more of how we do a life with a newborn on my channel as we get back to normal life and get back into routine so this was our week checkup at the doctor's office and he was just super calm and kept falling back asleep after all the things he's a pretty chill baby and just kind of falls back to sleep or gets calm when he's being snuggled. He is a snuggler. 
that when he's doing really, really great and I'm starting to feel better too. And then this is the end of the night, how my husband and I wind down. After all the kids in, are in bed, we are watching Smallville and then we just nurse, I nurse the baby, we snuggle him and we get him to sleep and sometimes we enjoy a snack, sometimes we don't. On this particular night we enjoyed a snack and we hang out and either one of us stays up with the baby or both of us go to sleep if he's going to go down in his crib. But he definitely likes to snuggle with somebody as much as he can. So that is that. But hey, you can enjoy too many baby snuggles. So yes, this is just a few days in life of our newborn and our family and the Easter festivities that went on and it was also my son's birthday after the baby was born and we didn't share any of that but we've had a lot going on family and friends coming over we've been trying to take it easy because this has definitely been a harder recover for me based on the other kids but we are adjusting and enjoying life with our newborn and our four kiddos so that is all for today's video thank you so much for watching if you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content coming your way bye for now